Hello and welcome to This Is. Sony likes to think that they have the superior uh, controller when it comes to the dual, dual sense. sense. What are you, Spider-Man over here sensing things? Well, today we're going to tell you what's better than the dual sense. Starting out with this Donkey Konga Bongos. You actually had them prepped. Yeah! These are better than the dual sets, I have no doubt, because you know what the dual sets can't do? Bongo. Bongo! Actually, we had this when we built the Ultimate GameCube. Ken and I had a delightful time. The only thing it didn't come with was bananas. The Wu Tang PS1 controller. This was a tie in with the Wu Tang Shaolin style album that was released in 1999. Wait, I've never seen this in my life. You've never seen this controller. I've never seen the Wu Tang. You're just a hater because you haven't mastered the Shaolin style. <laughs> the Wu Tang controller was the best one. It was released after the Dual Shock. Okay. But it had it was like for the PS1, so it didn't have like all the Dual Shocky features. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it also gave you Carpal Tunnel, which was just an added bonus. Like, does your Dual Sense give you Carpal Tunnel? When's the last time your Dual Sense has given you anything? You're no, only Matt, don't Matt. like these because you haven't mastered the Shaolin style. This episode of This Is is sponsored by the brand new OnePlus 10T. Matt, have you ever wanted the ultimate performance device? Absolutely. There you go. Oh wait, but I'm only at 8% battery life. If only you had 125 watt charging to go from zero to 100% in 20 minutes. But on top of that, you've also got all the latest tech inside, including the latest and greatest Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset and you've got yourself a 360 degree antenna system so that even if we both want to hold yeah. here here look we can hold it together and the antenna is still going to allow for the ultimate in performance the oneplus 10t will be available to pre-order starting on september 1st at oneplus.com and that will run through september 28th now if you do that before september 8th there is a major pre-order bonus and that for the 649 dollars of the base model you can upgrade this to 16 gigs of ram and 256 gigs of storage available the link in the description and thank you very much to oneplus for sponsoring this is I'll tell you, as someone who owns a real baby, that shit's a lot of work. So instead, you could get the Wii Baby. Now, maybe this wasn't exactly a controller, but this is an accessory that was bundled with babysitting mama for the Wii. And this was basically something that you stuffed a Wii remote into. Where? No, 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 no. Just let it Where? sit with you for a second. You Where did you the stuff the remote? Into the baby. As someone who had three of my kids taken away. Did taken you shake the them too hard? How hard did you shake them? I didn't get to. Well, you want the wee baby? It'll make you feel better. It's better than the dual sense. I'll tell you that. That is a weirdly like thick tuff of hair for uh, just being on one For a big bald baby. Head. I'd get that checked out actually. You know what I wouldn't get checked out because it is fine because it's great? <laughs> This is a Resident Evil oh. chainsaw. Talk about segways. So this was released with Resident Evil 4 back in 2005. Based on extensive play tests, the execs high up that you're way above our pay grade said this vastly improved the experience for playing Resident Evil 4. And here's the thing. It did not. Now they are an awesome set piece, and I wish we had some to put around. But like, as far as like actually playing, these just did. These weren't it, Chief. You know what's Dude. better than both the Resident Evil chainsaw and the Dual Sense? What? The Dreamcast fishing rod. Um. Yes, friends. Who needs your fancy rumble, your speaker, your touchpad, your beautifully crafted little PlayStation icons everywhere? That's all nonsense for losers. You know what's better than playing video games? Fishing. Because fishing is how you go outside, you're one with nature, you sit in a boat, you float, you maybe have a couple brewskis, and then you go home with uh, your empty bait thing that you dumped out and you told your family that you caught a bunch of fish and you let them go because you're in fact a failure and everyone's really disappointed with you. If you're gonna go out with the boys, you're gonna go bring your fishing rod out, you gotta come home with something. But if you stay home and play your Dreamcast, no one's gonna question you. They're just gonna think you're a weird loser and ultimately yeah. you'll have the exact same amount of fish at the end of the day. This actually had real motion control. Yeah. So it actually was compatible with both the Virtua Tennis and Soul Calibur. Would you in fact say that it would be the cast of your dreams? <gasps> Kinsey, I'm gonna need you to sit outside for the remainder of this video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is whipped cream. Ah, bad, no. Okay, Matt. What you got then? What's better than the Dreamcast fishing rod and disappointing your family? Easy, Let me just pull this out. Katana the Soul Controller. Uh, this is from Hori, 
the legendary Mad Lads. It was the first product of theirs to come to the U.S. and it was actually this a Dual Shock. This is the first Hori controller in the U.S. Yeah, and so it was basically just a Dual Shock yep. inside a katana, and it had motion controls, and you could just go. We went to go buy it with your credit card, but it was declined. And good thing because they are thirteen hundred dollars new in box right now. Moving on. The GameCube keyboard. This was, in fact, the greatest gaming hardware ever crafted by human hands. And when I say human hands, you need three or four of them to use this big motherfucker. Have you ever imagined a GameCube controller with a keyboard on the inside of it? Well, that's exactly what you get. Imagine showing up to a Smash Brothers tournament with this. You have your full controller, and then you set down your lap and go, type, 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 so, enter, pick up the controller, and you get back to owning the noobs. You don't need a full-size keyboard to type F in the chat when you get your ass kicked online. I the know. only way it's going to make this better is when Razer inevitably makes their own version of it. And it's I'll got, buy it. It's got their optical mechanical switches. Razer, if you make it. a GameCube controller, I, no, you can just- Razer, you can, now I know this, what- This is branded. Tweet at wait, Razer oh, that good you want to see a this is branded keyboard. Let them know that Austin sent you. I'm gonna get a call from our friends at Razer. Like, hey, please stop telling everyone to give us bad ideas. We're not gonna do this. This is a bad idea. But you know what isn't a bad idea, Matt? The Dreamcast Maracas! For Samba de Amigo. It was a rhythm game, but with maracas. And they rattled like a good maraca should. I wasn't paying attention to anything you said. I was just maracaing. I'd much rather go Dreamcast fishing than Dreamcast Maracas. The Tony Hawk Ride Skateboard Controller. Matt, you can't even argue with me on this one. You know- No, this, this was actually great. I, I actually really, this was really fun. Put yourself back, my friends, in 2009. A year full of prosperity, of joyous times, and of nothing but world happiness and delight. Uh, all that was not true, but you could ride on a Wii skateboard. What more could you ask for? The one thing you could ask for with this is that it would actually work. It was more of a cool concept, and it was only $120. I would say a bargain compared to stepping on your Wii remote, because that definitely wouldn't work. It's but. about the same level of like, authenticity to skating. Moving on, the Mega Jockey 9000, which just sounds like something we made up. This is amazing. This was for Steel Battalion and needed 44 inputs, two joysticks, throttle handles, radio channel dials, five switches, an eject button, three foot pedals. This thing looks dope. It was $200 though, and it was only usable on one game. This would be dope for something like uh, Star Wars Squadrons, which I like playing. Yeah. But again, it's, you know. It looks dope. I will say it looks really, really dope, but there's no way you can argue that this is better than the DualSense. I can. How many foot pedals does your DualSense have? None, because the DualSense exactly. is a bad controller. Because what a good controller is, is Dragon Quest Slime for Switch. Hori, are you okay? Again, this is only for people who don't have hands, because if you have hands, you will have to grasp it, and then do it like this, which is not exactly the way you want a game. But... It looks dope, right? It is absolutely massive. It does come with a treasure chest and a display stand because that's the only place that you will ever want to look at it because it's dumb. Can I let you in on an embarrassing story about the slime controller? Yes, please. I, like my friend had it. Uh huh. And I was using it because that was the only second second switch. You actually used this seriously? I we were, we were playing Mario Kart. Okay. And so you know you flip it upside down. It's got the little little tip at the bottom. I just like dock that in my belly button. Oh good lord, good it lord. Was just, we gotta censor that now. Just I think. Play it. Just, it was it was sitting in my treasure chest. Oh, and Aaron, uh, can you it, please like, censor all of that? Literally, I, I, every was, I was locked and loaded. I take it back. Uh, this is not better than the dual sense. Matt's story has ruined it. The slime controller. But you can put a hat on him. He had a little hat. Not after what you did to him. That face. That's a smile of pain and he agony. He wore me like a hat. No. 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 We have the Xbox Connect. You've which, already given up. You, have you already given up? I won. Already won the points. What? There are no points in this. Aaron, if you could, if you could roll back the point system right here and just show. <laughs> if you're feeling like a star, you can't stop my shine. I'm loving Cloud City. I'm Solo. I'm Han Solo. I'm Han Solo. Are you trying to tell me though? Seriously. All jokes aside, you know, leave your jokes at the door. The, the Kinect was good. When they first announced the Kinect, they way overhyped it. Remember they showed the kids scanning the skateboard and it was like as if he could just bring in any household item and suddenly it was part of the game? Yeah, that shit never flies. I will agree, the Kinect was interesting. There's no way it was better than DualSense because you know what was better than the DualSense? The Densha Digo controllers just uh, go by train. Have you ever wondered what it's like to drive a real life Japanese commuter train? No. Well, I'm gonna fill you in. Uh you use this and you go and stop. You could even apparently use the N64 mic 
So you could announce stations to your passengers. <laughs> so this one is specifically for the Switch, but millions of people have purchased these. Are you familiar with Penn and Teller's Smoke and Mirrors? No. So this was a series of video games, and it was a series of joke games. The one that has been the most famous is called Desert Bus. Oh, Desert Bus. I am familiar with Desert Where Bus. Where you yeah. drive from it's Vegas to like uh, Arizona in real time. For like nine hours. And just you're in the desert. And when you go get to your destination, that's one point. <laughs> and then you turn around and come back, two points. So they have all these now charity events of like, how far can I get in Desert Bus? And like people pledge money and stuff like that. And it's a really cool charity. There's literally way more buttons on there than what you're- Those are all the to. buttons to uh, talk to your fellow train. Uh, you need the N64 mic for that one. But you know what you don't need the N64 mic for? The Skyward Sword <laughs> for Switch. Wait, is this a real thing? Yeah. It's a Joy-Con controller uh, holder. So when you swipe too hard, your games, games go games flying fly. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Like how many TVs did I ruin? Cause you know, you don't have the, the, the lanyard mm -hmm. uh, and you just feel like, kind of like, hey, ah, hey. I always so practice safe weeing. Strap it up. Otherwise you're going to lose control of your Wii and you're going to be in big trouble. Ah, well, it's not better than the DualSense though. It is. No, it's not. How many games can your DualSense store in it? Okay, fine. You got me there. Yeah. The Intel Wireless Series Gamepad. Now, you might see this and you might think, that looks a little sus. And then you might look at it closer and go, that looks real sus. What? This was, though, a completely wireless controller for PC. Remember, this was not a thing back in 2000. Trust the, the good folks at Intel to always be pushing the levels of susness in the PC space. Let me ask you one important question. No, I don't think you need to. It's fine. We can move on. We're done. Why we did it have to look like this? Because, Matt, this looks like the something, wires had to be on the inside, this not looks the like outside. Something that would be in. No. Subscribe to our OnlyFans, get the uncensored version, and they see what this is actually used for. Oh, Moving on, though. Oh, no, no. Cut that, cut that. But we have Listic. <laughs> A blast from the past of one of our old This Is episodes, the Listic for the Atari 2400 was released in 1981. It was a great it. gift for your kids. You can squeeze your Listic. Yeah. Come on, kids, give 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 Listic a squeeze. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what though, I've been training to use Listic since about 1992. Sometimes you gotta give a little. While you're playing with Listic, you know what I was playing with? The Nintendo Power Glove. From the Wizard. What do you need in a controller? I don't know, the ability to control things? Wrong! Controlling is overrated. Instead, you want the coolest looking a pad that's attached to your glove of all time. I'm noticing all of these things that are better than the DualSense are all pure motion control where you didn't need a controller. Are you trying to say that it wasn't the DualSense that we needed, but it was the DualSense that we found along the way? But like so many others, they live long enough to be uh to as, turn it back into a controller i don't know thank you very much for watching please like subscribe and let us know in the comments what's the most offensive joke that matt said in this video that we had to censor was it oh, good lord oh, matt stop you need to put the stick away and i need to power glove my way to a bright new future where we can forget that this video ever happened